Good morning. As you can see, we're, we're adjusting. Um, this is a new event for me. And Testing one, two, three. Yeah, yeah. Norma again, didn't we? <laughs> okay, welcome to Northport Community United Church of Christ, where no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you are all welcomed here. Um, do we have some announcements to make? And I think we're standing in line. I've got a special one. Joe's coming back next week. Yay! <laughs> I hope he's all rested, but I'd be glad to see him back. And Becky, you have some notes? Good morning. Uh, the newly planned drop-in center, formerly called Loners, has been canceled for September. The calendar had it down for the 4th and today's bullet and listed it for the 11th. Esther and I got confused. But if you have any suggestions for this drop-in center, please see either Esther, Becky, Diana, or Winona. We're hoping it will be the first Thursday of the month, and you'll hear more about it later. I am personally inviting all the widows of the church are invited to a light lunch at my home for friendship and fellowship on Tuesday, September 9th at noon. But please let me know if you're planning to come. Thank you. Any other announcements? Oh, hello. Any other announcements? Um, okay. Um, if you have not done so already, please sign the friendship book and pass it down the aisle and check out everybody's names when there's somebody new. Um, introduce yourself um, and welcome them. And please do stay, all the new people as well as the rest of us, stay for some cookies and coffee after service. Um, we are going to be selling <coughs> Tickets for our roast beef dinner, which was up there. Um, roast pork, excuse me. Roast pork dinner at the end of the month. And all the proceeds are going to go to the church. We just think it's time we're gathering up again. And all the um, different positions in the church are all forming and all getting together. And meetings are starting in September. We want to celebrate our church. Um, no other reasons. Just... Let's celebrate each other. Um, October, wait a minute, September 26th, and the price is $9. It's a, a tenderloin. It's not just a roast pork dinner. It's a roast pork tenderloin dinner. There's a big difference because that's really, really the heart of it, and that's what we are. The heart of this church is us. Um, the September newsletter is now printed and it's in the narthex. Please don't go home without it. Um, do we have any first time visitors? Oh, looks like everybody's everybody. Okay. Um, some of the meetings this week, Turning Point Youth Group will meet tonight at 6.30. Remember, church office is closed tomorrow, Labor Day. Christian Education will meet Tuesday at 6 p.m. And Friday, the Turning Point guys all leave for the Night of Joy in Orlando, and they don't come back until Sunday. What a wonderful thing that we are doing for our youth. You guys are so good. Um, Undy Sunday, we've already received some. We don't have a box out there yet, but that's okay. Put them on the table. But next Sunday is the big day. Um, bring in anything, socks, t-shirts, underwear for the children for going back to school. And do we have anything else? Let us, oh, yes. Did you notice how my choir up here? When I ask for help, it's like they all come out and help. Nobody says no to me. I don't know why. But this is our choir. And isn't it awesome that they're up here and they're going to help me and I've got um, I got Allie to do the children's lesson. <laughs> Couldn't be easier than that. You're so wonderful. Okay, let's let us be in worship.
Declare God's glory among the nations, God's marvelous deeds among all peoples. Great is our God and most worthy of praise. It is God who makes O oh God, our loving Lord, we are in need of your constant and abiding presence, which supports and undergirds us. We would be once to the light and comfort of your spirit. At this time, we would again refocus and recenter our lives upon you, that we might go forward with the faith and hope that makes just living. And sing our, our praises to you. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God. Alleluia, alleluia. You may be seated. The Gospel reading this morning is taken from the 16th chapter of Matthew, verses 21 through 28. From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and undergo great suffering at the hands of the elders and chief priests and scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, God forbid it, Lord, this must never happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. Then Jesus told his disciples, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit them if they gain the whole world but forfeit their life? Or what will they give in return for their life? For the Son of Man is to come with his angels in the glory of his Father, and then he will repay everyone for what has been done. Truly, I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Here ends the reading of the Gospel lesson. I think it's time for the children to come forward. Good morning. Good morning. You look like you're all tired. Are you tired? Yes. School where you're out? Yes. <laughs> well, today we are going to be talking about what we just heard Miss Mary read. This week I went to go visit a Christian bookstore. Who's been to a Christian bookstore? You don't know? It's a, it's a bookstore like Books a Million, but with all bunch of Christian books from everywhere. And they also have some other neat, cool little things, too. So I was, yes, they have Bibles, yes. I was walking around that bookstore, and guess what I saw? I saw t-shirts with great big crosses on them. I saw some necklaces that have crosses on them. I'm wearing one of my cross necklaces right now. You see? Whoa. Yeah, just like that. Those are some of the things I saw. I saw some, yeah. There's, those are some of the things I saw. A t-shirt with a cross on it and necklaces with cross on it. I saw bookmarks. I saw lots of things. And when I saw these things, it made me think of this week's Bible lesson. In today's, in today's lesson, Jesus was talking to his disciples and said to them, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up the cross and follow me. Looking at that cross necklace up there, do you suppose what Jesus meant is I should wear that necklace everywhere? That taking up that necklace, that means I'm, 
automatically a follower of Jesus? I wish it was that easy. <laughs> what about wearing a t-shirt? If I wore that t-shirt every day, does that, does that mean I'm taking up the cross for Jesus? No. It's good to wear those things. It is. That way so we can tell others that we are believers of Jesus. But taking up the cross means that we need to follow him and fully believe in him. So, we wear these things to remind us that Jesus died for us, right? That he loves us and that he's always with us and we want to share that to everyone. So that's what it means to share and to let others know. So, that's what I want you to think about this week. It's more than just wearing the cross just to wear it, but to make sure that you share to others that you are a follower of Jesus and that following Jesus means that you love him and that you do anything for him. Okay? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that Jesus is willing to take up his cross and die for our sins. And as disciples, we must help we must help us take up our cross and follow him as well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Epistle lesson is found in Romans, the 12th chapter, verses 9 through 21. Let love be genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good, love one another with mutual affection, outdo one another in showing honor, do not lag in zeal, be ardent in spirit, serve the Lord, rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. 
but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. No, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. For by doing this, you will heap burning coals on their heads. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Here ends the reading of his lesson. I wasn't going to have a sermon today, but you know, I just feel the impulse to have spend five minutes in a sermon, if you'll bear with me. Everyone, <clears throat> for the last six months, I have heard, you know, um, boy, what would this church ever do without Patty and Norma? Um, you know, and that's wonderful, and it's a wonderful tribute to us, but it isn't us. I'm going to ask you all to stand up as I call you <clears throat> for different positions that you have served in this church just this last year. Do you serve on the care team? Please stand. Do you serve on a board such as a deacon's trustees? Keep standing, please. If it's okay, Joan, I'm sorry. Um, trustees, um, anyone who serves on a board, are you a deacon? Do you serve on, um, bring bread into the church and take it out on Monday morning? Have you served on a dinner to help make funds for this church than through the year, this last year where we struggled. Have you done that? Ralph Kelly, you made that coleslaw. Stand up. <laughs> I think we've named everybody. Has all the children, who served on vacation Bible school? Please stand up. Joan? Stand up. Anybody else? That takes almost the whole concept of this church. If you turn around and look, everybody has stood up. Those who could serve have served. And those couple of people who haven't in the past years, like Lola and Janine, uh, Geneva, you've been so wonderful through the years. And it's time for you to sit back and rest an hour and let us celebrate you. This is our church. This is... This is a building, as Pastor Joe says to us so often. This is a building. It's the people within this building that make this church. And something that Pastor Joe has given us over this last three years is our strength. We are strong within each other. We are gifted, and we believe in each other. And that's what makes this church all work together. And I'm so proud of all of you. And oh, I did. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's serving. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Sir. See, where are you, Joan? You're supposed to remind me. <laughs> oh, and, the, and the choir. And the choir of all things. They come here every once a week and then sing in the choir too. I go, oh my goodness. And then I bring in cookies. And when I ask from something from, from oh, and what about um, Clint Van Tassel, who does the microphone system? And Mike Bohr, for heaven's sakes, how can I forget him? And Shane, thank you very much. And oh, yeah, Daniel, who's been helpful. All the children are wonderful in this church, and we are going to grow, and we are going to go someplace. Don't you worry about it. I have such faith in this church. It's just it's overwhelming because I love you all. Thank you. Please be seated. We are going to go right into it. I told you, five minutes. That's, was that a good service or what? <laughs> um, we're going to go right into him sing. And I think the first one we're going to do, and Michael, you played that to begin with, but you inspired us. Now we've got to sing it. How great thou art. Whoops, where am I? Okay, what well, great. I thought it was in the front of the book. 31. 31. Oh, 
we'll start off one hymn on this side, and then we'll go to this side. It's one hymn, one verse, and tell us what page. Page 28, whoops, 28, verse 1. Oh, this is a good one. To the right side. Anybody got a hymn? Barbara? Excuse me? 408. First verse? 408. I'm sorry. You want to do that again because it sounded terrible? <laughs> We're not used to it. Something we know. Yeah, something we know. Okay, yep. In the garden? 349? Verse 1.
Michael, could I have you do that again? I, I'm looking out at the congregation and I'm seeing eyes closed, eyes to heaven. It's very meaningful to you all. So you want to do it again? Second the first verse. Second verse. Huh? Second do second, second verse. verse. Do second verse? Okay. Second verse. rehearse that. <laughs> the, the choir is excellent, right? Okay, and we're on this side, okay. What page? 73. 73. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Four thirty I can't remember your name. Andy, okay. Excuse me? 206. The church is one foundation. Um.
Okay, Ralph, or not. Arvin. Excuse me? Arvin. 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 Get one more in. Excuse me? 303? Oh, nice. Oh, I love to tell the story. Yes, we do. Thank you. Didn't they do a wonderful job? It's now time for our celebrations and concerns. We'll first do birthdays. Do we have any birthdays? No birthdays? Whose birthdays? Well, it's my dad's birthday today. Oh, okay. Tomorrow. Okay. Very good. All right. Anybody else? Okay. Any other celebrations? I've got one. My aunt celebrated her 99th birthday yesterday. And she was, <laughs> she, she, she was with it for part of it, and then, <laughs> then somehow she got over there someplace. But we had a wonderful time, so it was a nice celebration. Anybody else with celebrations? Yes. Wow. Did everybody hear that? God's Box. This is in our library. And she read this, and she got halfway through it and said she's going to open up a God's Box. I haven't read it, so I don't know. But definitely a good read. God's Box. Anything else? And prayer concerns? Oh, for me. Yeah. <laughs> For me, I have had problems with my knees for a very long time, and now it's gone past, and I have no more mis meniscus in my knees, so I've got to have my knees replaced. The first one comes out on Wednesday, and then down the road I'll have to have the other one done too. So yes, and I hope Pastor Joe will know that, and he'll come visit me maybe, because <laughs> I miss him. Um, 
I truly miss them. Excuse me? Yeah, that's right. We'll okay, get the message. Anybody else? Patty. Okay. I also would like to have prayer concerns for Atella. This is, um, we're supposed, I hope that he comes with us. But again, I iterate, if it goes the other way, remember our strengths are in ourselves and in this group and in this building. This is God's house and we will, we're going to be good. We're going to be okay with through all of this no matter what happens, and we pray that Attila will join us very soon. Any other concerns? Let us be in prayer. Um, we're going to sing 440, whoops, 444, and everybody will pray with this song, Sweet Hour of Prayer. This is our time for our silent prayers. Please bow your head and pray for whoever you would like to pray for. I would also like to pray for all of our care team people that we take care of, our members at Quality Care, our members who are far away but need our prayers, who live in other places. 
the ones who we call who are in nurse or home and recuperating or just having a hard time, we pray for you. We pray for all of our widows and widowers who've been through so much this last year. We pray for you too. And God, we trust. Amen. It's now time for our offering. Heavenly Father, thank you for these gifts and this offering. Please do your will with it. It is our celebration and our gift to you to spread it throughout this world. All this we pray. Amen.
Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and thank you for bringing us together to worship you and praise you for all the wonderful things you have given us. Give us peace as we go forward and bless us all this next week. In all this we pray, amen. Mm -hmm.